Yeah, absolutely. A lot going on. And those new supervisors, new and incumbent, say that they are committed to working together and they agree that they need to listen to the voters who sent them here. On Wednesday, January 8th, San Francisco's Board of Supervisors will welcome four new members. The Mission District will be represented by Jackie Fielder, and the Excelsior District will be sending a new supervisor as well. Both districts replacing supervisors who termed out. The same goes for District 3, including Chinatown and North Beach, where Danny Sauter will be replacing Aaron Peskin. Supervisor-elect Sauter said his priorities are clear. You know, we've got to start to put ambitious plans forward on housing, on homelessness, on public safety. Sauter said he'll be working toward a spirit of cooperation on a sometimes fractured board of supervisors divided by moderates and progressives. And this is a moment for collaboration. I think no matter uh, political leanings, you know, I'm going to try and work with anyone. I'm going to try and work with everyone, and I think the, the mayor shares that commitment as well. There will also be a new supervisor for the hate and tenderloin, with Bilal Mahmoud defeating incumbent Dean Preston. Supervisor Connie Chan from the city's Richmond district fended off her challenger, she says, by listening to the voters. It's really just day in and day out relationship with neighbors all through our neighborhoods that I think what is what you see in our election results. Supervisor Chan said the board has to look beyond labels like moderate and progressive to work for their constituents and with an incoming political newcomer mayor-elect, Daniel Lurie. We're going to be there to help him. We're going to be there to support him because at the end of the day, uh, you know, the success of our mayor and the success of our board supervisor is the success of our city. And this is a time when we actually come together. Jason McDaniel is a political science professor at SF State who watches local politics closely. Uh, I have optimism that this board uh, um, will want to work together, and, and especially uh, with a mayor who's never done the job before. He said this incoming board may look for ways to work through any differences. I think a lot of these members of the board are reading uh, where the electorate's at, and the electorate does not want, you know, um, progressive versus moderate uh, fights, divisions for no reasons. They want problem solving. They want the board to you know, come together and work with the mayor to solve problems or at least make you know, progress. Our political analyst also said that with a lot of new board members, it's uh, almost like the supervisors are in a honeymoon phase. But he has said as the board moves through its agenda, those political tensions will inevitably come up. And he says those occasional clashes are an important part of the process with leaders standing up for what they believe in. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kafton, KTVU. Fox 2 News. San Francisco politics always alive and well. Christian, thank you for that.